Hey, FoidMEJ here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be investigating some of the shipwrecks and boats that you can come across in-game. Back here with Arthur Morgan. He's looking pretty rugged. I've grown out his beard and his hair. So to start off today, we have to look at this mysterious boat that is stuck in a tree. When I first stumbled upon this in-game, I thought a really bad storm had actually propelled that boat up into the tree. Then I thought this could be some sort of a movie reference. So I then typed in the Google, boat stuck in a tree, and what I came across sounded very familiar. I came across a movie called Mud that was out in 2012, starring Matthew McConaughey. The plot reads, two 14 year old boys in DeWitt, Arkansas's area, Ellis and Neckbone, have found a boat stuck high in a tree, in a small island in the Mississippi River. We know the Mississippi River in game is called the Lanihatchee River. So it makes sense that it would be here. The location is here also if you want to find it. And it reads again, they want to claim it for themselves but discover someone living in it. They meet the occupant, a strange man named Mud. who claims to have grown up nearby. He tells the boys that he needs food and promises to give them the vote if they help him while he stays on the island. So when inspecting the site, you can see another rowboat over here. Uh, there's also some fishing line tied up around the tree there also and I think there's some aged pirate rum right here. This could indicate that this has been here for a long time. It seems to be some sort of like fishing supplies or whatever, some rail there. And yeah, I think that it is based on the mod movie because it does make sense and the plot does sound the same. Although we haven't got some kind of strange man living up there, definitely could be like a subtle hint to the movie mod. I may have to actually give this movie a watch to see if there's any more similarities. But what do you guys think? What do you think this book could reference? Do you think it's um, a reference to mod? Or is it just some sort of other Easter egg that Rockstar have put into the game to make you think or confuse you? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Not too far away, you can find a pirate ship wreck. And the location is right here. On these islands just outside of Rhodes, you can find this pirate ship. So if we go inside, you'll be surprised at what you can actually find. So we can open up this lockbox. I think you get some like aged pirate rum in here. Definitely another indication that this is actually a pirate ship. Then if we walk over to this corner over here, it's actually the pirate hat. You can only get it here. This is the only place that you can get it in game. This definitely indicates that this is definitely a pirate ship. There's not too much that can be found in here, just wreckage. I can see a stove over there. If we go outside we can see a camp. Uh, the pirates probably set up this camp to sleep for the night saying their ship got wrecked. And there's actually a part two to the ship wreckage. If we head over to here, way over this side in the map, you can actually find a pirate sword. So I'll meet you there. Okay so we have arrived so let's go take a look at this boat, get this pirate sword. Here we are. You can get the pirate sword. It's called the broken pirate sword when you pick it up. And now we have it in our compendium. And you can see it kind of like a dead guy inside there as well. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's probably like a pirate or whatever. And that's mostly it for this location. At least it kind of ties the two places together like the wrecked ship and then you can come over here and get your sword. It completes the pirate outfit. So you can get your hat and sword. I'm gonna end up getting at by a gator some way. <laughs> so this next one isn't actually a ship wreckage, but I did want to include it because I found it very interesting. And big shout out to MC Ulfric for letting me know about this one. Let me show you the location on the map in case you want to find it for yourself. This is actually a dugout canoe and if you don't know what a dugout canoe is, it's just a canoe made from tree bark. I'll give you a more in-depth description now. Dugouts are the oldest boat type archaeologists have found, dating back to 8,000 years to the Neanderthal Stone Age. This is probably because they are made of massive pieces of wood which tend to preserve better like bark canoes. Along with a bark canoe and a hide kayak, dugout boats were used by people years ago in America. I think Rockstar added this boat into the game to give it more depth and history. These boats were here years ago in the Stone Age, so I think Rockstar is trying to show the different time periods that went on in this world before we see it in the 1800s. Even with the pirate ships, they are also showing the different time periods. And I think that is a really cool idea from Rockstar, and it makes the game even more interesting than it already is. 
For our last location, we're here at Ansberg to look at the shipwreck at the river that leads outside the map. Let me show you the location now. So this actually looks like a pirate ship to me. I don't know what you think, but I think it does. It has this kind of like pirate vibe to it. And if you go up close, you can see this writing that says better than my dog. It actually looks like better than my do. When you go up closer, you can see it says dog. You can see the G there. This is actually a cheat code. And if you use this, um, you can whistle your horse from any range or distance. Personally, I don't actually use cheat codes in the game as you can't save after, but it is a cool little detail from Rockstar. If you want to use this cheat code, it's here and you can type it into your game. Other than the cheat code, there doesn't seem to be much else here, just some wreckage from the ships. These pirates must have been way too drunk on pirate rum and that's why they've crashed so much because I believe this to be the third crash site in game due to pirates. So if we go inside, there's actually nothing that we can loot or collect, which is pretty disappointing. You think with Rockstar would add something here that we can collect, but it's making me think they've just added this here to put the cheat code on it and make it kind of cool and interesting. So they've put that there um, so players can come here and find that cheat code. Other than that, I don't think there's much else here, but I'd like to hear from you in the comment section below. Before we wrap up things today, I want to point out that most of those shipwrecks are actually in the mine. There must be some sort of a conspiracy theory going on. Why is all these boats crashing here? Did someone put a hex on the mine? Does someone hate pirates? <laughs> Let me know your opinions. And MC Alfric actually hit me up and said you can actually literally witness um, boats sinking in the Lanahatchee River around where I am right now. I've been looking out for them. Let's see if we can see a boat sink right now. Haven't got anything so far but maybe I've just not waited long enough. Well I haven't got the binoculars that's right. Can't use them in the boat but let's take a sail down and see if we can see any actually sink. What about this guy over here? Is he gonna sink? It'd be awesome if he did right now. If I go any th further though, I probably sink. Um, they look fine. They look like they're not going to sink at all. Maybe it's just one of those random chance encounters. Well, if anyone else can get it to spawn, uh, hit me up on Twitter at VoidMEJ or Instagram. Just VoidMEJ on there as well. So I'd love to see that actually, but I haven't got it to spawn unfortunately. Well, that's it for me today. As Arthur rides out into the sunset, I want to give a big shout out to all the subscribers to the channel. You're all the best and thank you for even caring about my content. Don't forget to hit me up at VoidMEJ on Twitter if you want to send me anything or would like me to cover anything. Don't forget to join my Discord server as well. We have lots of fun over there. I'll leave a link in the description. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and I'll see you all in the next one.